Let's determine the molecular geometry for H2S. This is hydrogen sulfide. So we start out with a valid Lewis structure when we're trying to find the molecular geometry. So this is the Lewis structure for H2S. First, we'll look at what's called the steric number, the number of things bonded to the central atom. We have two hydrogen atoms and then two lone pairs. So our steric number, that's going to be four. And of those, we have two lone pairs. So we go two lone pairs. Over here, we have a bent molecular geometry for H2S. The ideal bond angle here is 109.5 degrees. Let's look at this in three dimensions. We'll consider the purple to be the sulfur. Let's add two hydrogen atoms, and they spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. Now we need to add the lone pairs. They're going to push the hydrogens down. We add one lone pair, and let's add the other one and we end up with what's called a bent molecular geometry. The bond angles, the general bond angles, are 109.5. For sulfur, they're a little bit different though. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. It turns out that the bond angle for sulfur is 92 degrees, just about 92 degrees, and that's because these lone pairs are really pushing down on the hydrogens. We could also figure out the molecular geometry using the AXE notation. A is the central atom, the sulfur, X, the number of atoms bonded, we have two hydrogens. E, the number of lone pairs, there are the two lone pairs. And that would also give you this bent molecular geometry. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry for H2S, hydrogen sulfide. Thanks for watching.